All right, guys, I got my guy Dylan in the chair. I actually recorded his haircut about probably two months ago and got home, and it was super orange, couldn't even use it. So today we're gonna do like a disconnected, kind of a swept up and over pompadour. We're just gonna leave the top, but we're gonna shave the sides down, do a bald fade, totally disconnected, get his beard together, and finally get him on the channel. All right, guys, I'm gonna saturate his hair, go ahead and get it parted. We're just gonna do one side at a time. I mean, usually I do that on YouTube, but we're really gonna just section the length out of the way, cut this side, and we'll flip it to the other side and cut the other side. Well, that was kind of confusing, but I'm just gonna saturate it real well so I can get a nice clean part here. And then we'll come in and start our fade on the sides. So like normal, guys, we're gonna part it. We wanna see where it wants to split, somewhere around this part. So I'm gonna stick my comb in, section it up, and he is gonna wear it all to the other side. So he actually, his part kind of wanted to part up here, but because it's gonna be long and go to the other side, we're gonna be fine. So I'm just gonna comb this down. We'll come in and disconnect this side, go ahead and cut all this off, and then we can start our fade from uh, probably about the top of the C cut. We'll add this back section in, make sure we have a nice clean part. And I'm gonna actually put some grippers on it just to make sure that it stays out of our way. If you guys don't have any of these, these are hair grippers. These are babyless ones, but there are a bunch of kinds. But you guys see, you just stick it on and it holds the hair out of the way. I'm gonna start off clipper over comb. We're just gonna clipper over comb all this. I know you guys wanted some clipper over comb videos. I did a couple tutorials and I've actually been implementing a lot more than I used to. So I'm gonna come straight up square up the head. And I know I taught you guys to use contrasting combs, but we're doing this totally square. I don't really need to see anything, but just feel the head shape. So I'm just taking it straight up square and cutting straight along. My lever is all the way open. I don't have the one guard on. This is just an open lever. And I'm just making sure it's square and cutting it from uh, cutting straight up the parietal ridge. And not really a weight line, but just kind of a, a square haircut. We'll work our way to the back. I'm gonna do the back separate. So all I'm worried about right now is this side panel right here. You see that quick, guys? We gotta cut down, we can come in and start our fade. So we're gonna just start up here at the front of the C cup. We're gonna follow the same shape of this parting. So if you guys could perfectly, matter of fact, let's take our comb is here. There's our parting. So our bald line is gonna follow that exactly like that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of looking up there as I cut the line in, just following that natural, natural head shape. Now I wouldn't call this a drop fade, guys. A drop fade is really exaggerated dropped in the back. This is just kind of a natural to his head shape fade. Most of my fades I do drop slightly in the back. So you guys just wanna follow the head shape. Sometimes we'll go straight around, sometimes we drop it slightly. And if somebody wants like an extreme drop fade, we can go in there and super drop. Right, so you guys know I like to ball out with the slim line just a little bit, and then come in with the sharper trimmer up into the slim line. That does two things. That's gonna let us ball out easier with the shaver. It's gonna leave less of a line. And then when we go to our closed clipper, we don't have a bald line from a sharp trimmer. We have it from the slim line. So a little bit easier in both of those parts to work. And those are some things that you guys struggle with. So that will save you a significant amount of time. And guys, my best performing YouTube video of all time is my technique on that bald line. So if you guys haven't seen it, I will put it at the end of this video. And you guys make sure you check it out. All right guys, so we got it balded out. We're gonna come in with the shaver. I'm gonna just go up about, about three quarters of an inch from that line that we put in. Make a hard line and then we will use the shaver. We'll just tap with it and take the shaver line out. So that's another thing that's in that video. I know you guys struggle with shaver lines and trimmer lines, so I made that video just to show you guys how to make this easier. All right guys, next up, all the way open. I use my Babyliss because it has a taper blade. It is a little bit longer, so similar idea to what we just did. This open blade is gonna make the next transition a little bit easier, so we'll go about three quarters of an inch. We're following the exact shape of the guideline that we did to begin with setting in the open section and then we'll come in with our boosted clothes we'll take the bald line out so it's super easy guys remember clipper clothes at the bottom if it's halfway open we should be halfway into the section if it's all the way open we should be at the top of the section so we're just bumping this line up slightly just a little bit leaving us room above it then we can open it up a little bit more we go up a little bit higher and then last but not least guys we'll take it basically on like the fourth notch and take that last line out. I do not have notches on this, guys. I prefer the floating lever. So I just explain it like that so you guys understand, you know, clippers have five notches most of the time. If we break this section down into five sections within or five lines within, then if we're on the fifth notch, we should be at the fifth line, which is the top. If we're on the third notch, which is the middle, we should be in the middle. 
and the first notch we should be at the bottom. Now we can just play with the lever, see any dark spots come in here, touch them up before we move on to the one. Next up guys, open one. This is gonna almost blend into the clipper over comb and we are at the parietal ridge. So if I do it right, I can just feed that clipper off the round of its head and connect into what we got right above it. We may need the one and a half, but I'm gonna attempt to do this without needing it. Now we're coming in with the one guard all the way closed. And we're gonna go halfway up into that section. Now I know you can't see a guideline, guys, so you just have to know where you're at. We're gonna go halfway up into the section. And we will use the half guard to take this last line out that you guys can see at the top of the open section. Last but not least, guys, half guard, half open. You can barely see it here. We can see it way worse back here. So we're just gonna cut where we know we're supposed to be. I'm gonna go through this just to make sure that everything's consistent. But if it looks good, leave it alone. And back here, we'll need a little bit more. So you see it's starting to take that line out. I wanna be careful though, this will cut a little short if I go too high. So see I'm taking the line out. If there's anything left, guys, we can close it up or we can go back to an open clipper. You guys do whatever your preference is. You can also open it up and go a little higher if we feel like we need to. You guys see this is coming together. We'll go ahead, blend this beard in real quick while we're on this side, and then we'll move on to the other side. All right guys, so we're gonna do the beard real quick. The way I like to do beards is I take a number two. I also know his beard really well, but I take a number two down, down his cheek. I'm not going into the bottom. I'm just coming straight down off the cheek. That's gonna give me a nice guideline. We're gonna fade the rest out, and then I'll bring my clipper in and line up the bottom. So I'll immediately flip it, number two all the way open. We're just trying to get about this point up, cut down to a number two. One and a half, halfway open. One guard all the way open. Close it right up, go right above that. With the one closed. And while I'm right here, I'll just take my guard off. Lever open, half open. Lever closed. And you guys can see his beard is faded out already. So I'll just go ahead and do it while I'm on this side. You guys can wait till the end and do the whole beard. Whatever you guys want to do. I like to just do it all at once. So now while we're here, I'm just going to shape this. I'm going to look at how full it is in the front. I'm going to start right here, shape it in. I'm just going to follow that line. All right guys, now that I have it roughed in, I like to do it with the clipper just because it feeds hair better. So now that it's roughed in, we'll come in with the trimmer and line all the edges up. All right guys, so same thing on this side. I'm coming back and start our part. We'll do the same exact steps as we just did on the other side.
right, guys, that is it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. My oh, man, Dylan, we got him back together with the disconnected pompadour. I wouldn't quite call this the Brad Pitt Fury. Not quite as shaved and not quite as disconnected. It is disconnected, but if you guys liked it, hit that thumbs up button. You guys already know. Let me comment down below and let me know what you think of this cut. If you guys want more detail on this, guys, the whole hour video is going to be uploaded on the 245 Academy, so you guys check that out. As always, guys, appreciate all you watching. Catch you guys next time.